when I try and enable this pack, it says incompatible made for an older version of Minecraft. And today I'm going to show you exactly how you can fix this and how you can make your packs work for whatever version you want. Yeah, um, that's uh, basically it. It's pretty simple. So follow along. Anyways, the first thing you want to do um, to, you know, start right off doing this is just open up your pack folder over here. Or, well, you can if you want. In my case, I've just emptied mine so it's really easy for you guys to see. And you'll see that I only have one pack in here and that's the pack that isn't working. It's my it's smooth texture pack. Texture pack I'm working on. I'll link it in the description if you want to check it out. Anyways, I'm just going to take this out of there. Um, and you'll see it disappears because, you know, we got to change some things to it and then we can re-import it and then it's going to work real nice. So, yeah, that's going to be good, isn't it? Anyways, the first thing that you want to do once you have just your texture pack, I recommend on your desktop, um, you can right click on it and then click on the extract all option over here. Yeah, if you don't have that as an option, which might be the case if you have a different OS or something like that, then um, you'll need to download a program called 7-Zip or WinRAR, which I will link in the description too. Um, you will need to download a program like that, and the only thing they're going to do is just allow you to do whatever I'm doing right here. Yeah, then you can just click on extract a second time. And you'll see what we get here is a folder. So this is a .zip file, um, and this is the texture pack. We can just move that to the recycle bin, actually. Um, we don't need it anymore. This is a regular file folder, yeah, which makes it really easy to access, and you can edit everything inside. Once you open it up, you should see a few of the things here. Maybe not everything. That's fine. Um, Something you will have though is this pack.mcmeta file over here. This pack.mcmeta, yeah, and that's what we're going to be focusing on. That's the thing that we want to edit. So to edit it, we can obviously just open it up right here. And I'm actually opening this up with a program called Notepad. It's free, you can download it from online or from the Microsoft Store if you want to. Um, that'll probably make it easier for you because it'll make everything look exactly as it does here. Otherwise, you can also open it up with a, a literally probably any text editor out there. You can open it up with Notepad, you can open it up with um, Word maybe. I'm not sure if it works with Word. You can try. Um, if you are having troubles opening it, something you might want to do is right click on this, go to open with, and then select another app, and then you can select apps like Notepad if you want to. Anyways, I'm just going to keep using Notepad++ because it's convenient for me to use. Yeah, and now we need to update the pack, basically, to make it work for whatever version you want it to work. Yeah. And now to do that, you actually want to go to the top link in the description. Yeah, I made it the top link for you guys. And that's going to bring you to this page. Right over here. It's the Minecraft Wiki fandom, you know, that stuff. Um, and pack format. You might recognize that. It says pack format as well somewhere in your pack.mcmeta file, yeah? And now, this is what we want, yeah? You don't want to scroll down past this point. Um, so the data pack part, you don't need to look at that whatsoever. Um, you can ignore that. This is exactly what we want to look at, yeah? So the pack format, it's a number, basically, yeah? Or a value, same thing, yeah? And Depending on the version of Minecraft you're on or you want to make your texture pack for, this value is going to shift and change and be, you know, stuff like that, basic, basically. Yeah, um, and you can 
you can see the, the values here. So if you want to make your pack for 1.19.4, which at the time of recording this video is the most recent um, version, you want to make sure that your pack format is 13. If you want to make it for 1.19.3, 12, 1.19 to 1.19.2, it's 9. If you want to make your pack for work for 1.17 to 1.17.1, 7. Yeah, basically that stuff. Um, Anyways, I recommend just putting it at the most recent version. That way you will stop getting the error you just had. As I said, in my case, it is 13. Maybe if 1.19.5 is out or 1.20 is out at the time of you watching this video, it might be 14 or 15 or 16. I don't know. We'll have to see. But in my case, it's 13. So we're back in the pack.mc meta file, yeah? Basically, I remembered that the pack format I wanted was 13. So I'm going to change my 12 right over to 13. Yeah, that's exactly, basically just all you want to do. Um, and now there's one thing you really, really need to watch out for. And that is, watch this. You see this comma over here? If I accidentally remove that, yeah? The entire pack's not going to work. It's not even going to show up in Minecraft, which would be really annoying. So you want to make sure to leave stuff like that comma there. This goes for everything, you know, the quotation marks, stuff like that, basically all of it. Um, so make sure to not accidentally touch anything else because it's kind of annoying to troubleshoot. So basically, I've got that to 13, so I can press Control S to save this or go over to File and save it from there. Once you've done that, you can just close that. And now we're going to just want to reverse the step we did earlier so we're able to import this again. To do that, hit Ctrl A to select all the files or just select them like this. Then what you can do is right click on them and then compress them to a zip file. Now, once again, you might need a program like 7-Zip to be able to do that. Anyways, just click on that and then you'll get the zip file right over here. You can call this whatever you want. I'll call it It's Smooth because that's the name of the pack and then 1.19.4 because that's the Minecraft version I'm making that for. You know, I like to call it that. Anyways, now that you have your pack, you can basically throw this away. You probably won't need it. Of course, you don't have to, but you can if you want. I've launched Minecraft 1.19.4, which is the version I made this pack for, right? Obvious. Anyways, I'm giving it in tabbed mode because it's easier to import texture packs that way. You can go over to options, resource packs, and then open up your pack folder real fast. Mine is now empty, but it won't be anymore now. And look at that. It's smooth 1.19.4.zip. This is no longer red. This is now the exact color you want it to be, and that's perfect. We can click on this arrow over here. That'll just perfectly enable the pack, and everything is going to work just fine. Anyways, once again, if you want to check out my texture packs, I don't just make the It's Smooth texture pack. I've got a ton of them. Then those will be linked in the description. If you have any questions, make sure to go down there as well and ask them in the comments because I'll be sure to answer them. Um, but, you know, for the rest, that's it. Thank you ever so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.